Have you ever wondered what goes on behind the scenes of a photo shoot or ever wanted to learn more about how to set up studio lighting or use studio equipment? I've been studying photography for six years and currently I'm majoring in photography here at Purdue. So I'm learning more and more each day from all of my professors, most specifically my professor Janelle Strauss, who teaches lighting and studio fundamentals here at Purdue. In order to have professional studio lighting with a single light setup, you must have all of your materials, you must know how to set up your lights and use all the materials correctly, and know how to enter the correct settings into your camera. So let's go to the studio to learn how to set up your single light setup. Here's what you will need. First, a tripod. You will also need an Alien B light. You'll need a cone to diffuse the light. You'll need your two sinks. And lastly, a camera. So after you grab all of your materials, the first thing that you're going to get is the tripod. And to set up the tripod, you twist this little knob on the side and then open the legs. And once you open the legs, tighten this knob again. And then grab your light. So once you have your Alien B light, there's this little notch at the bottom. And you connect this notch to the top of the tripod and then you twist this knob on the side here to tighten it on. So after you attach the light to the tripod, you're gonna grab your sink and you're gonna put it in the back here. There's this little area that says sink. So you're gonna plug it in. And then I like to drape this over the side to hold it up. And then you'll just hook it right here. And then make sure to click this button to turn it on. So after you attach the first sink to the light, you're gonna get your second sink and you're going to attach it to the top of your camera by sliding it into the notch at the top and then tightening it down. And once again, you're gonna flip it on. And we use the sinks and attach the sinks to the light and the camera so that whenever you press the shutter to take the photo, it talks to the light and then it flashes the light at the same time it takes the photo. Once you have the sinks attached to your camera and your light, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is squeeze these two prongs together to take off the cover of the Alien B light. And then after you take off the cover, you're gonna grab your cone and to attach it, you're gonna do the same thing. Squeeze these two together, slide it over the light, and then release them and it'll stay in place. So after you have everything attached, you're just gonna plug it, plug your light into the wall. And then once you have the whole thing plugged into the wall, you're gonna press this power button to flip it on. So after your light is set up and plugged into the wall, you're gonna grab your camera and in an article by John McIntyre, he talks about all the different settings and the specific settings that you should use when using a single light setup for photography. So in the article it states that you should have your ISO set to 100, your shutter speed set to 125, and then your aperture set at 11. And then to adjust the settings on the camera, each camera is different for what, where you change your settings. So you'll just have to look in your manual of your camera to find out how to change your aperture, ISO, and shutter speed. Before you set up your setup and take some photos, some things to remember are to not touch the light on your Alien B. So the bulb gets super hot and you don't want to touch it. And when you take off the cone at the end, make sure it's cooled down before you take off the cone and put the cover back on. And second, make sure to turn the lights off in the studio when you're about to take your photos so that the only light coming in is the flash from the Alien B. With these basics down, you can head to the studio and experiment even more with your single light setup. And here are a few photos that I have taken using this method.